Hello again, everyone. I'm All Dragon, and I'm Zerfall, and we are playing some more Stellaris. Go ahead and unpause it, and I've got my fleet heading to uh, kill some space amoebas. And I've got my uh, well, not presidential powers, my royal powers here to emancipate some people that would be doing a little bit better on their science if they weren't so slavey. Oh no, I emancipated everybody. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Didn't mean to give you hope there. They they they, they had a vacation. That's that's what yeah. it is. <laughs> well, that made me have negative one food when I did that. It's it's bad bad stuff. There we go. Slavery is over, or not slavery? Starvation is over. Slavery is maximized. Research complete. Right, well, I've opened up uh, migration with the Tarasi Accords. So let's see what they like. Oh, the Ganogian Nation has declared you a rival. Yes, and they closed the borders. Hmm, if I get this food 25%, that might make me actually able to uh, close some farms up. <laughs> System survey. That is a pretty nice thing. That's actually really nice for the Zerf that are on the farm, too, because they get to be emancipated and turned into researchers. Although this one guy's making 12 food on this planet, and they only have plus, uh, plus 5 food right now, so I don't think he's ever going to manage to... <laughs> To get, to get free. But I am well, I did get. Oh, I, I was about to say I did. I did get the uh, that twenty-five food thing. So you should be getting it a little bit faster too. Oh, nice. I was going to. Um... Jeez, every once in a while when I try to scroll to the bottom of a list, I end up clicking off of the list. Oh yeah. I hate that. No wait. Do you know what? I wasn't even off. That's dumb. Ah, oh, damn it. A new species. Many of the roach inhabitants on Spotted Roach have turned to genetic modification to help them cope with the planet's hostile environment. The changes they have made to themselves are being passed on to their offspring, and their physical appearance is changing at an alarming rate. They have started referring to themselves as post-roach. <laughs> post-roach. That that sounds like the, the worst cereal ever. Hey, have some post-roach. Made from real organic... Uh... Insects. Oh, I need to. I need to look at what the what the hell these guys have decided to make themselves into. Post roach are weak, conformists. That's actually okay. Uh, rapid breeders and arid preference. Hmm. Research. Yeah, you've you've gotten rid of your intelligence, you fools. And the Ganoigian nation says to me, let us end this charade. Oh, I'm going to be able to uh, figure out what Zro is and distill it into things once I figure out this thing. And you can get that cheaper because I've gotten that. Nice. Speaking of, do I actually have any? I do not have any. And my torpedoes are armored now. Nice. That is that is very nice, actually. Uh, let's see here. Should probably start getting some of this plating research done too. Oh, the Tarasi Hygiene Mini is like, hey, uh, I noticed you are uh, rivals with uh, my two big neighbors that seem to keep going to war with me. <laughs> so rather than say, help defend us, please, they say. Let's not go to war ourselves. <laughs> you never know who opportunist, uh, what type of opportunist person might be waiting in the wings. All right, God so damn it, synthetic! Why the hell are you here. moving? Stop moving! <laughs> you fools! All right, I think I do need a uh, orbital mind control laser here. Greetings from New Baldaraki. Things are progressing here at our new colony. However, we have a small request. Chopki Rod, one of our colonists, misses her family and friends on Baldarak terribly <laughs> and wants to go home. Her whining is driving us crazy. It's not too much to ask. Do you think you could take her back? What? Absolutely not. Uh, very well. Complete. 
Excellent! Hopefully this won't put too much of a strain on your resources. Since you'll only be transporting a single individual, we'll make the necessary arrangements on our end. I just broke the news to Chobki, and she is spinning with joy. In fact, she is spinning out of control now. You'll have to excuse me, Roach friends. <laughs> I love this chain! This is awesome! That's adding an awful lot of flavor. I just wish it wasn't... Uh, I, I wish it had a, uh, a picture. Because it's just an empty uh, blank screen when it's like, you know, uh, incoming transmission, no video feed type thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys just go dock up so that you're not uh, spending as much energy, which I'm capped out on. Some of our resources have exceeded their storage limit. While our storage is full, any further income in these resources will be wasted. What do you want me to do about a game? <laughs> it's nothing I can do. Which reminds me... Um... I'm probably going to need to uh, System survey complete. break this off into a sector. Well, I suppose that'd be okay. Because I have my new colony ship. With Latrepians. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to get rid of this one. I'm just going to see what happens. Ouch, because this is expensive. <laughs> oh, hostile fleet engaged. What's going on? Oh, this is just the crystalline entity. Mm, oh, no, it's a space perfect. amoeba. Construction complete. There we go, and I just finished... Uh... Ooh, I can get morphogenic field mastery. Let's do it. Okay, I can make a xenomorph army. It's totally worthwhile. Still need to get some of these planets colonized. Do I have anyone who's good at uh, colonizing desert? Well, other than myself. Oh, that wasn't even the... Jeez. That wasn't even the space of me that I wanted to kill. <laughs> I just happened to cross one somewhere else. <laughs> and got, it got a little too close. Oh, you're heading down to uh, take out the um, mining drones? Yes. Excellent. And that's why I was surprised when I got to it and it was a space amoeba. I'll have to go survey that when I'm done. You know what? I think I'm getting enough influence right now. As much as I'd like more, I am going to turn on Map the Stars. Uh, if you talk to the Galactic Yapathi Combine, the purple guys, uh, how do they feel about uh, vassalizing to you? They are negative 100, partially because of their wary attitude, but partially because um, their empire is just a little bit too big. Hmm. I feel like the planets that these... like They don't have very many systems, but somehow these two guys both have pretty big negative uh, empire population. modifiers yeah because I'm getting a distance penalty which is why I can't vassalize them and uh, I'm also guaranteeing their independence 
and that's costing me. Mm. So I'm going to revoke the guarantee, and whatever happens, happens. Construction complete. I wonder if that makes them more susceptible to wanting to be. They might, yeah. Mm, doesn't seem to. Mm, unfortunately. I think if they feel threatened, they'll be more likely to, but. Yeah. Yeah, definitely if they feel threatened, then they, they will be more likely to consider it. Alright, 32 more months. And we'll have. A much larger Zerf's Stellar Confederation. Hostile fleet engaged. I'm actually more likely to get the Yapathi Galactic Kingdom into um, being <laughs> a uh, vassal, which is kind of funny. Well, we may want to just attack them at some point then and uh, get them vassalized. 52. 84. But that's with where you get down to 34. Hmm. I mean, I'm not really sure what else we could do. Nope, my bad. I was in the wrong one. Still. They're just, uh, yeah, they're almost just as likely. Just these empire, uh, empire size modifiers really just, uh, mess with things. Yeah. Situation log updated. I mean, if someone uh, rivaled them, then that might uh, that would probably kick them into uh, the possibility of doing something. Mm -hmm. I am definitely thinking about doing something with the uh, the Benthel mandate. I mean, they're tiny. You know, it's kind of like, why not? Yeah, I really. could I could flat out vassalize them entirely. Oh, could you? Yeah. <laughs> One of the nice things about not being a pacifist is that they will oftentimes I mean it, it is oftentimes pretty cheap. They have not built much. They're actually starving on their uh, capital. Oh no, the Walmoro uh, liberation liberation brawl. They're at uh, negative two against the Tarasi and the Hisma. I think that was kind of guaranteed once we ended our war. Yeah. I don't know why it's called the liberation brawl, Situation considering that uh, they're my uh, vassal or my protectorate. Probably oh, because they they're trying the to liberate something. Mm. They're probably trying to liberate something. That's probably what their goal is. I can't think of anything else. All right. Well, this one lone battleship is going to go around uh, taking care of. Oh, I guess they already took care of this. <laughs> so much for that. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna get rid of this um, frontier outpost. Oh, you got your uh, colony going in Marope? Not Marope. Um, uh, no, but I'm just curious as to. Oh, what the effects are? What the effects are gonna be? Doesn't look like it did much. No, so I think it's not worth the influence to have anything there, and I don't think. The well, you still okay. may want to have a planet. Well, I mean, uh, oh, colonize. I guess if I put it into a. Uh, its own sector right away. 
I am now a planet over my limit, but I am still positive on everything. So I think I'm going to stay this way for a little bit. Let's go ahead and get building on stuff. How are we... What are we looking at in terms of... Ethics Divergence? That's... Uh, it is a little bit. It is a little bit, unfortunately. Let's go for some uh, re-education campaigns for 10 years. I need to build some more battleships, it looks like. Actually, let's see if I have anything else that I can build that would uh, help out my... No, I do not have Na uh, Zero, so I can't build a Navigator's Guild. I have no idea where Zero is at all. Construction complete. Do you have any Zero? Or do uh, you not I don't that? know if I finished the research yet. Okay. Uh, I have three months left on it. Ah, okay. I've just gotten Morphogenic Field Mastery. I can make Xenomorph Armies. Ooh. Hmm, rare tech or massive glacier removal? Uh, I'll go for the rare tech for now. So. And I got planetary shields simply because it was a rare tech, and I'm like, eh, it's rare. Might as well. <laughs> Gotta get those purples. Yeah, exactly. No, I did uh, create a migration treaty with uh, uh, the Tarasi. My Tarasi guys. Mm. I'm wondering if they've moved on to any planets. Anomaly found. I found an anomaly! Woohoo! Finally! All right! A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet. Possibly the remains of some kind of massive fleet action. Let's research it. Only a 7% uh, risk of failure. I want to manage to have an unemployment person, unemployed person somewhere. Research complete. Yeah, I don't think my uh, my little uh, Tarasi friends have moved anywhere because I don't really have anywhere for them to move. They might be trying to move to this world, I suppose. Construction complete. There is a spare spot. Oh good, my uh, science ship uh, made it all the way over to the uh, uh, the research project, special project. So there's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place research in complete. close orbit around Ithris uh, 6. At some point in the last 5,000 years, it's a pretty old one. And it's just how the planet's pockmarked and blah blah blah. Nothing too excited. There is a Mount Graveyard Expedition, though. Oh, that's that's not too bad. Yeah, you Situation should get uh, some complete. decent stuff out of that. Let's go ahead and do that. What do I need to do? Go to... Where is my science ship? I don't know how it doesn't... Re this These people don't realize they need to research... Uh, this before they survey the rest of the system. Why would they think I want otherwise? Well, I think that is another change that's coming. Uh, that they're going to get... Uh, um, uh, you're going to be able to put things in at the beginning of the queue. Mm, so you don't have to cancel everything else out. Yeah, queue. yeah.
Do I currently have satramine gas? I do not. I'm going to get satramine gas. Excellent. Oh, I finally managed to go negative on energy again. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm at 15,000. I'm losing 0.23 per oh. month. I'm sure by well, the time uh, things start getting worse, I'll have some power plants finally back <laughs> up and running again. I might even liberate some uh, reserve if that's what they're running. It's not my space yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to be pretty good. The uh, um, Latrepians are agrarian, so they will be growing food for me on this uh, new world that I have sent them to colonize. Don't make a colony ship. That's silly. Nice. Engaged. Special project completed. A single cargo tug hauling a gas canister has arrived at, at Baldrock under escort by the Cave Carrot. The contents of the canister have been released into the gas giant's atmosphere, safely returning the Daphnet colonist to her home. Good riddance. <laughs> Alright, I got disruptors. Let's see, what other stuff do I have? Ooh, dark matter. I want dark matter. And it is about time to end the episode. If you're at a good stopping point. Uh, I think I am. I got a guy that's uh, fighting some crystalline entities, but he should be able to hold his own, I would think. Oh, and I just got an insult from the Tarasi hegemony. Are you in great physical pain, or is that your thinking expression? Well, I gotta, I gotta end the episode on a uh, sending them an insult. <laughs> I, I did that. I didn't mention it uh, um, to you, but I, I sent uh, insults to uh, our, our two uh, friendly neighbors. Mm. The Tarasi hegemony is a, na is a nation of fools worthy of nothing but contempt. There we go. It's good times. Always good to end on an insult. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.